Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be looking at a very interesting ability uh, known as Cyclone Armor. Uh, Cyclone Armor is an armor that is specifically made for the Druid, uh, but there are some items in the game uh, that actually do have uh, Cyclone Armor charges on them, as well as some other things, and we'll go over that as well. Now, uh, Cyclone Armor is quite honestly an amazing ability uh, because it has the ability to absorb damage uh, without just 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 any effect um, and uh, it doesn't have any duration it just lasts as long as it possibly can um, and it only absorbs unfortunately fire cold and lightning it will not, it will not absorb poison it will not absorb magic damage um, and it will not absorb physical. So those are the three elements that it will not absorb, but it does absorb a pretty massive amount of fire, cold, and lightning. And um, right off the bat, you'll notice it's not particularly high at absorption of 40, and even when you dump uh, a good 40 points into it, um, you will also notice that it doesn't really go up that much. Um, and that is because it's not meant to be built by itself but the 352 absorption for 20 points uh, with seven plus the skills is actually not terrible however if you do build the synergies which are twister tornado and hurricane um, you will notice that you will have a massive 1830 absorption by uh, fire lightning and cold damage now the absorption on this is not the same as the absorb on something for like for instance raven frost uh, raven frost absorb will actually heal you for the damage that you take so for instance if you were to take say 50 cold damage um, 20 percent of 50 is going to be uh, 10 percent right 10 percent i believe um I'll just do 20% of 100. How about that? Which is 20. 20% uh, <laughs> of 100 is 20, and you're going to be healed for 20 uh, when it finishes. So uh, so you es essentially get a total of 40% reduction in damage from that particular uh, effect. Now, Cyclone Armor doesn't work that way. It only absorbs damage directly and doesn't heal you for it. But 1,830 for a total of 31 mana is certainly not terrible. And when you cast it on yourself, it stays on you uh, essentially forever until it either absorbs that damage or you leave the game, which is pretty darn amazing. Um, there are two items in the game which actually do have procs for Cyclone Armor or, or charges. Uh, the first one is the Rain Rune Word. The Rain Rune Word has a level 15 Cyclone Armor, uh, which has a 5% chance of being procced. Um, when you are struck um, and the rain body armor is actually an amazing one for hurricane druids to wear because it gives you the ability to have a constant cyclone armor procking on yourself um, as you take damage and um, and quite honestly that is extremely nice the the um, effect also has a very nice uh, synergy bonus as well so even though it is only level 15 if you are utilizing this on a hurricane druid uh, you will get the synergy bonuses from the twister the tornado and the hurricane when it procs um, now if you are not a druid um, you will not get the synergy bonuses but you could still potentially use rain just simply to get the uh the very nice uh, proc of Cyclone Armor constantly on you. Because it is basically just a massive amount of reduction in the damage that that, uh, that you can take. Um, a, an analog to Cyclone Armor is actually Bone Armor. Bone Armor is the uh, Necromancer skill, and it uh, absorbs physical damage instead of elemental. Um, very, very similar in just about every single way. It doesn't have a duration. It does not uh, heal you, but it does absorb a very nice amounts of damage. Now, um, it is important to note that Cyclone Armor doesn't function exactly the same when it comes to how damage is absorbed. Um, so, for instance, it is applied before any of the calculations for resistances or anything like that. Um, it is actually even applied before Energy Shield. So, uh, before Energy Shield actually sucks away its damage, um, it is applied before that. Uh, so it's kind of the raw number that comes in, not essentially the um, 
the damage that's actually applied to your to your health. Um, so, for instance, like say uh, a monster attacks you with 300 fire damage, and you had uh, say 100 cyclone armor left, it would take 200 off of that, and then or sorry, it take 100 off of that, you would have 200 left, and then it would of course uh, apply that 200 to your resistance, which would get reduced, um, and, uh, and that, that would definitely be very nice. Um, there's really not a whole lot to say about Cyclone Armor. Um, it is extremely powerful, especially in PvP. If you are fighting a Fire, Lightning, or Cold Sorceress, um, you can essentially stay alive for almost forever. Um, I have actually tested this in PvP quite successfully. Um, I've gone up against a number of sorceresses. Excuse me. I've gone up against a number of sorceresses in PvP. Uh, utilizing a max hurricane druid and uh, the cyclone armor spam that you can do is uh, is pretty amazing especially considering you can just kind of just stand there and you can just take the damage um trying to think of a good place for me to go uh, let's go to river of flame there's usually quite a large number of uh, elemental damage monsters there and uh, i don't really have any armor on or anything but um you know so what so of course these guys are poison so that doesn't help Trying to think where I could find a decent number of fire characters. Arcane Sanctuary usually has a nice number of, uh, of fire characters. That would definitely be useful. Of course, we got to watch out for the ghosties. The ghosties with the mosties. Um, but as you can see here, we have a fire damage character. And uh, and you can see I am not taking any damage to my, uh, my health pool at all. Uh, it doesn't matter what abilities he uses until the absorption on the ability is gone. I will not take any fire damage from him. Um, I can, of course, recast this at any time with no ill effect to myself. So if I wanted to uh, go ahead and recast, I mean, there you go. I've just refreshed the 1,830 additional fire damage. And um, when the damage is applied to your hit point pool... Um, it will go through your resistances. So, for instance, I have very, very poor fire, lightning, cold, and poison resistance right now. Like you can see I only have 5% fire. So, 5% fire resistance is going to uh, hurt me a lot once Cyclone Armor goes down. Um, I actually have a character on live uh, right now who is a Hurricane slash Werewolf Druid. He's a, he's a hybrid that I built. And he actually works surprisingly well, and he utilizes rain armor to uh, to allow him to proc multiple cyclone armors on himself. And um, quite honestly, cyclone armor is just one of those amazing defensive abilities, which will certainly help you a lot. Um, it's also important to note that uh, in 2.4, they added the ability for you to cast cyclone armor while you were in werewolf form. Um, so if I switch to werewolf form real quick, um, you will notice that I can cast Cyclone Armor in Werewolf form now, which is absolutely amazing. So those of you who are uh, Werewolf Druids or Bear Druids, um, I would recommend that you uh, take another look at Cyclone Armor and maybe consider um, sneaking it into your build somehow. Uh, because Cyclone Armor is definitely one of those abilities now, which could potentially help you a ton. Um, before, you couldn't really cast it while you were in werewolf form, which definitely made it a downside. But now that you can cast it in werewolf form, it's very, very nice. Um, my druid that is on uh, live, which I have uh, I've built, is actually a hurricane druid that uses shapeshifted form and um, one of the very interesting things about him is that he specifically is built to uh to have this massive amount of uh of casting capability and uh, and basically what he does is uh he casts all his nice little buffs including hurricane while he is in shapeshift form now and uh, it's not something I was able to do before, but now that I can actually cast Hurricane while in shapeshifted form, he's uh, he's become much much more powerful. Um, I usually had to choose between you know attacking and casting Hurricane, but now I can have uh, my Cyclone armor, my Hurricane, and my cake and eat it too, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Now um, you can have Cyclone armor active at the same time as other abilities, like for instance. 
Uh, blade shield, it can be activated at the same time as blade shield. It can activate at the same time as bone armor. Uh, chilling armor, frozen armor, and shiver armor can all be activated at the same time. Um, trying to think if there's anything else specifically to talk about with this ability. I do believe that there is an issue with cold length. So cold damage will be absorbed, but cold length will still be applied. Um, so if you do not have cannot be frozen equipment on, um, this will not protect you from the can the uh, the frost or the chilling effects, uh, which is important. And um, um, the other item, I don't know if I talked about the other item that has infinity or sorry, um, cyclone armor on it, which is actually infinity. So infinity has level twenty one cyclone armor charges. Um, and it has 30 of them, which is actually pretty darn sweet. Um, so in the future, uh, now that we can use and in, make infinity in spears, if you haven't seen that video, I have that up, um, you could potentially utilize cyclone armor to create effect on a spear Amazon, uh, which could be very, very nice. Um, I don't know if infinity would work very well on a druid. Mm, I don't really think so. I mean, maybe with a cold, uh, a fire druid, maybe fire claw druid. No, I, I, I don't really know. It seems to be more focused around lightning than it is around uh, fire. But of course, conviction is definitely going to help out uh, fire, uh, no matter what. And it does have some nice crushing blow on it, as well as some other effects. So you know, who knows? But um, the level 21 charges of Cyclone Armor on Infinity are certainly an interesting thing to consider. And uh, if we actually take a look at Cyclone Armor at level 21, uh, we are looking at a total of about 275 um, elemental absorption, which is basically just free damage. Now, I do prefer the, uh, the Reigns, which is level 15, specifically because it recasts itself over and over again. Um, at level 15, you were looking at an absorption of 208, but every single time it recasts itself, that's another 208, another 208, another 208, and it does tend to cast itself enough to be quite useful. Um, anyway, there's not much more to talk about with this, so I think we're going to end it here. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when it is part of a cyclone. And uh, as always, keep watching.